Welcome to I Love Stocks. Today's date's May 6, 2020, and we've got a great little penny play for you. GNUS, Miss Vegas. Yeah, what is so genius about genius? Well, you know what? This is the Genius Brands International. They're headquartered in Beverly Hills, California, of all places. And uh, they're involved in children media company. They do a lot of licensed animated entertainment. They do a lot of TV shows. Right now, they have this show coming up with a superhero called Stan Lee, which is going to be played and voiced by Arnold Schwarzenegger. Because this show is for kindergarten um, kids, and it's really to teach them about using your powers, learning lessons about health and exercise and anti-bullying and teaching them about fitness and nutrition. So I think this is going to be a really big hit. Um, this company, just so you know, has a lot of celebrities that do a lot of the voices. For example, they have an episode on Netflix um, called the Llama Llama, and the voice from the Mama Llama is made by Jennifer Garner. And this was based on a book by Anna Dudney. So you know what? This company, though, has been in the news a lot. If you see here the news from the trade exchange today, it was mentioned before the market opened that they have their brand. They're going to be launching the cartoon channel so they're rebranding the name and it's going to be played across the digital networks of amazon prime apple tv comcast dish Tubi, zumo and many more and by the way i mean they're also playing on alibaba which as you know is the major network in china and that is massive um, this is just going to be phenomenal. I mean, they're also, they're merging their two channels, the Kids Genius Cartoon and the Baby Genius, and they're now going to brand it under the Cartoon Channel. So this is going to be uh, launching in June 2020. The other thing that this company, as you can see, if you look at all the press releases, um, and if you guys ever go to the company websites, just go to the News Media tab at the top, and click on press releases and you can see so much action on this company i mean they just mentioned even yesterday that they're going to be debuting rainbow ranger toys from mattel at walmart stores starting in august and it's going to be the first toy line at the walmart stores and this will be for the preschool brand so they're going to have all kinds of characters from the rainbow ranger series which is currently airing um, in the U.S. and also in key territories around the world. So these products are going to be quite interesting, this toy line. They will be ranging from $1.50 all the way to $109.99. Wow, those are going to be expensive toys. So let's now talk about what's going on with Genus because... I mean, I saw the news pre-market. I read it. I thought, okay, this is going to be a cartoon channel. And I didn't really notice the action on the stock because it didn't really move that much at the open. But then my trade idea scanner was starting to mention the ticker. And I took a closer look and I said, wow, this chart, weekly chart is super bullish and is definitely worthy of a swing trade. And so we did mention the swing trade in the room um, at 38 cents. And I got to tell you, amazing. Was not expecting the volume surge tonight. Um, just phenomenal move after hours and quite the fireworks. And this has definitely had an expansion break and way above the 200 day moving average. Now, it did go to 143 after hours and pulled back here. And, you know, as we're talking right now, it's trading around a $1.07. Um, so, Jim, let's hear about the chart because, you know, where can we find some supports and resistances in case anyone's listening? You know, they may want to consider the trade. They may want to uh, swing trade it. Maybe they'll watch it for tomorrow for any opportunities to get in the trade if it's, you know, if they still, if they like it and do their own due diligence. But 
me personally, I still like the trade. I'm still holding the swing trade, and I like this setup on this company. So, Jim, let's hear about your thoughts on Genius. Yeah, well, I'm going to just pull up the three-year chart for a second here and just have a look at the three-year because I've looked at the one. We've got a lot of range to run up on this on a three-year chart, and with this news, this could be the catalyst to do that. We have a three-year high of 480. So I'm just going back to see that three-year high because I've got it measured out to one year. I'm going to pull up the one-year chart now. We've got a one-year daily. Whoops. That's a one month. There's the one year daily right there. With the one year daily, we have a yearly high of 233 with a resistance up right around 204, 205. And you can see the range that it's had. It sold off pretty hard. And then all of a sudden, we've had some choppy days here for the last six months where it's been range bound between, I would say, that low support right around the 19 cent area all the way up to right around the um, right here right around before that gap fill right around 4244 so I'm gonna put a low support which I know we're not gonna see that I'm gonna bring up the 20 day now we're gonna look at the 20 day I have a little 50% uh, retracement on it after the high on the 20 day we almost hit that 140 some 145 46 resistance we did have a 143 high so the hard resistance, we're going to switch it around to right around 118. And I want to turn that into a red line. That's the resistance that we need to break. That's going to be your hard resistance for right now. I'm using the base of this candle with that huge fat wick. So I've got a little channel right here. The 50% retracement is going to be right around 84 cents. But I'm going to bring it just a little bit lower to this 81. That's going to be a low, low, low support. I mean, if it gets down to 81 on this pullback, that could be a pretty strong buy right there. Let me see. I think it's 15. We'll make sure that that's it. I'll turn that into a red line. Nope. Uh, yep. That was it. We've got that 118. Okay. <clears throat> so now I'm going to pull up the 20-day. That is on the 20 day. I'm going to pull up the daily. So this is how we're going to look at this. No lower than the 50% retracement of 87 with a strong buy at 81. And I'm going to turn that into a red line. Can't figure out why I've got two lines on this. Hmm, just don't want to show up. Maybe if I go with the other one right there. Turn that red and we'll have it for sure. There we go. Low support at 81 cents with this strong support channel between 87, I'd say 88 and 93. And if it holds support right here at 103, that'd be great. But you see it did pull back right here to that 94 cent area. So that could be your first support. Now the resistance to break is going to be up here, like I said, right around that 118. But we do have another one here on the daily, which is right around 140. So the target, the pullback, low support is 81. With the first support channel right here at 87 to 94. And I'm seriously about that be a very strong buy right there. Then that first support here at 103, and that should hold. If not, it'll pull back to this channel. The resistance to break is going to be right up here around 118. And if we can get past that 118, we'll take it to 140 to that yearly high and I'm going to pull up that yearly chart again and that yearly high is at 204 and you can see that the hard resistance is right around in here at 89 and we've already busted past that and that 50% retracement right here at about 118 on the yearly chart is a real strong resistance and if you can break that we're going to see maybe pretty sure maybe take this up to two dollars by the end of the week or by next week. But I'm pretty excited about this trade and I hope the momentum keeps up. Miss Vegas. I do want to add one little interesting point about the um, chairman and CEO, Andy Hayward. You know, he used to be working at one time with Hanna-Barbera, which remember, they used to make the Scooby-Doo, the Flintstones, the Smurfs, Yogi Bear, and then um, he obviously relocated to France. And then he was very involved with like Inspector Gadget, Alvin and the Chipmunks, G.I. Joe, Super Mario Brothers. 
I mean, those of you hopefully remember those brands like Strawberry Shortcake and Care Bear. But you know what? He also did like, he's also doing these brands like Stanley Comics and Baby Genius. But this is an interesting one. He actually did a collaboration with Warren Buffett. And they did like a little short film that actually opens the annual Berkshire Hathaway shareholder meeting. And he actually co-authored a book with Warren Buffett as well, promoting financial literacy for kids. I just love that. And I really think that um, that is amazing because hopefully kids will be inspired to learn about uh, the stock market. You know, that would be cool. So Genius is quite the brand. I'd say so. Well, this is the Aftermarket Report with Vegas and Jim. We hope everybody has a great trading to day tomorrow and let's see what genius how much of a genius this stock can be i love stocks